Hi, this is my next video on converting the mini mill to uh, CNC. In the previous video I did the tear down, I took all the stuff off that I needed to be tear took it taken off. Um, so the next part is to uh, to start installing the, uh, the parts. Uh, we're going to start it off with the Z. And uh, alright. Okay, so I'm going to start off by making sure the limb block is up and tight because we're going to take this off. Oh, I'm going to take it off that way. Take it off this way. Okay. All right. Now we're going to remove this bolt right here. And uh, I think Brad put the uh, some uh, Loctite on here, but I don't have any. I have red Loctite, but then I'd never get it off, so uh, I think he used blue. So we're going to stick that through here, like that. Run that down. I don't want to go too far. Take it to about there, I guess. Alright, put that on there. And then, I think the two screws that we were saving Going here. Alright, get that one started. sure it uh, looks level. Okay, now I need to drop the head down, so I'm going to hold this and uh, lower the block and uh, alright, lower the head down and I guess I'm going to screw this down. Maybe I have to check this out. I like this out. down further. Alright, a little tricky, but I got it down. I basically I had to take this down to get it far enough. Um, now I just have to take the screws out up here.
that's about where it's going. Basically just adjusted the height on it to the point where uh, the bottom of this is uh, touching right there. It's like right on it, so. Make sure it's level. Looks okay. Okay, well I think they said to run it up and down a few times uh, before attaching it onto here to see if there was no binding or anything like that, but uh, all I did was uh, turn this while pulling up on the head. And then back and get back down. Well, the head was lowered, and uh, that seemed to work. It seems to be seems to be doing okay there. All right, I guess the next step is to uh, drill the holes here. Um, I think they were saying something about drilling and tapping. Uh, I'm just gonna drill holes through and just use the nuts on the back. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with tapping myself, so. Okay, well what I did was I lined this up as best as I could, making sure it's level. Uh, you can see the, the holes are slotted, so you have a certain amount of play this way once you get them in there. So I just took a marker, marked through the holes like this, and uh, swung it out like this. Um, looks like I'm going to have to take the motor off to be able to get my drill in there. Um, but if you look up here and you look at where the slots are, the center of the slot is right on the edge of this right here. So if you drill down right through there, you're going to be drilling. It'd be easier just to like drill right through here, of course, and just put the nut right there. But if I come in too close, I'm not going to have any adjustment. This is a little further over, but I don't know, it looks like I'm going to have to drill all the way through, all the way out to here and put the nut back there or something. Okay, um, I've already loosened up the, uh, the, the cap screw on here, but I'm going to remove the, the motor here um, so that I can drill those holes. It's going to take one, this is for people who uh, have already done the belt drive. Uh, conversion. Uh, if not, um, I don't remember exactly how the other one came off, but uh, uh, this is uh, it's a little hard to take off once you've got it together, so I think I'm just gonna take the handle apart. And then take this out, and then uh, I'll put that back together so I don't lose the parts there. Okay, keep those in a safe place. All right, I can uh, pull the motor off. The uh, belt's right there, so I'll just kind of set this down someplace. I want to damage the wires. Okay, so I've decided I'm just gonna drill the hole a little further over this way and this way. It won't give me as much play or adjustment on there, but at least I won't be drilling half on, half off in this back piece back here. I'm gonna get this thing up out of my way while I'm doing this by putting a little electrical tape on it. Tape it back there like that. That way it'll be, it just keeps wanting to flip back all the time, so I'll keep it out of my way. So, alright, I'm going to start drilling the uh, 
first hole. Um, somebody said a quarter inch. Uh, I'm just using a uh, and my uh, fifteen sixty fourths or something. Fifteen sixty fourths. Uh, quarter inch, fifteen sixty fourths. Um, just uh, big enough for the uh, for the screw to go through. This one should be okay. Alright. Yep. So I should put my goggles on if I can find them. Oh, here we go. All right, got the first one through. Check to make sure it. Uh, yeah, put the tape on there. Holds pretty good. And uh, make sure it lines up there. Looks pretty good. All right. I just need to drill uh, three more, and I'll be back. Okay, I noticed while I was drilling that that I was getting a lot of crud down inside, back, and here, uh, which uh, I didn't want to get all that junk down in there. I don't know if it's going to interfere with the uh, the, z the z axis getting crud down in there. So I just put some paper and just kind of taped it up with electrical tape. I'm an electrician, so I just put some electrical tape in there. Um, also, when I usually usually when I mount something like this, I usually just mount one screw, and then uh, while it's up there, I just drill the other holes because I can just put the drill right through there, and uh, and I may get some crud in the back or something. I don't know, but uh, uh, that way I'm not it's not going to wander or anything because it's going to stay within that hole. So, All right. All right, I got the last one in. Uh, now I'm just gonna tighten them up. Um, just got the Allen here, and uh, I'll just use these. Doesn't need to be anything special, I don't think. Just need to be able to grab it. I ain't going anywhere. I can take my thing off here. Alright. Okay, now I need to uh, put the motor back up. That's uh, all done. And, uh, uh, you know, maybe we'll. Well, I was going to run it up and down, then I saw the motor hanging there. I don't want to just leave it hanging there, so. Um, I'll do is I'll uh, take the belt cover thing off and uh, kind of loosen that up and we'll uh, put the motor back on. Make sure the things align there. All right. I'm going to use this opportunity to switch it into a higher gear. I was on a lower lower gear but I think I'm gonna run uh, the high gear on this thing so we just put the uh, screw back in here Okay, so the motor's back on. I get my uh, cover back on. Okay, so we're all good there. Motor's back on. Uh, now we want to test to make sure we're going up and down good. 
the thing looks straight, so just uh, double check. Make sure it's going up and down good. Seems to be okay. Try back down. Everything seems fine. I think we're... That's a success. We got, well at least we got the kit on. Now it's time to put the, uh, the motor on. Uh, let me figure that one out and I'll come back. Alright, I'm going to mount the, the motor. Uh, to the axis, to the uh, Z axis. Um, the uh, the screws are actually like this. There's only two, so you can't really mount it like that. So I guess the, the idea is just to put it on an angle so you get two there. So um, what I did is, I don't know, I think it said to remove it, but I don't know, I can access it right here. I, I, I rotated this so that the Lovejoy uh, coupling set screw is right there. I just rotated it out like that, uh, backed it out, and then uh, I'm just going to mount the motor right on here, I guess. Um, and I will uh, put in the, the two screws here. Okay, I got the screws here tightened down. Good. Uh, yep. All right, now I just need to uh, tighten this down. Appears I have the wrong key. And it's not far off, so I guess it must be standard, not metric. So let's try one of my keys here. Yep, it's a uh, eighth inch, I think. Always carry one of these. We need to make that good and tight, otherwise it might just spin on there, so... And it's a good thing they leave it open like this, so you can tighten it in the future, so... Alright, well I think that completes the, um... The Z-axis. Um... I guess I'll move on to the next axis.